Sally Cooks. Today I'm doing corn on the cob. Yes, corn on the cob. Many people overdo it. So, let's get started. Most of the time, people do overboil their corn. So, I'm going to show y'all how to do it right. This corn has some silks on it, but my vegetable brush is actually in the dishwasher. I do run it through the dishwasher every few days because I do everything with it. I brush my vegetables and do all kind of, you know, scrub my sink or whatever. Uh, and then I sanitize it in the, in the uh, dishwasher. So I'm just going to show you how I take the silks off the corn when I don't have my vegetable brush. I just take the corn and I rub it back and forth under the water and you got to put some pressure on, a little pressure on it so that the silks will come off. And most of the time if there's a stubborn one on there, it'll be sticking out and then you can finish pulling it off. Not everybody has a vegetable brush. And then you just kind of look at it and see if you see any hanging off. And like this one just has one right there. So you just pull it out. That's all there is to it. Um, a lot of people probably think, well, why don't you just put your corn in the microwave? Or why don't you do this or that? Um, I'm just going to show you how to boil corn the right way. And then y'all can follow suit if you want to. But uh, so many people overboil their corn. And then they lose their nutrients and the flavor of the corn. All right, when, you've, when you do corn, you let the water come to a boil. You take your corn out at least an hour before you boil it so that it's not real cold when it hits the water. And we're going to time this corn for three minutes. You want just enough water in it that it can roll around. So you're going to put the lid back on it so it'll boil. I'll put it on four minutes to give it time to come back to a boil. And that's all you do. All right, it's ready. That simple, that quick. That's all you got to do. So don't overdo it. Go ahead when your timer goes off. Whoops. And get it out so it can be cooling off so you can put some butter on it for everybody. Get it out of that water. If you want it to taste good and fresh and delicious, this is the way to do it. My mama always boiled her corn forever. She never knew you weren't supposed to boil it so long. And I've had people that watch my show that said they've always boiled their corn to death. And they love it. Once they figured out they weren't supposed to boil it so long, how much better it tastes. Okay, so um, we salt and peppered our corn, and now you're just going to butter it good. There's nothing like corn on the cob. Nice and fresh. Don't overdo it. Mmm, so good. Woo! Thanks for watching. Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did.